Happy Halloween everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the Empire's SMP and they have done a lot in the last couple weeks since we last took a look at this server. There has been a huge jump in the lore and also some great new buildings so if you enjoy this video be sure to like it and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button as well so you can see all the rest of our Minecraft content. First up in the Empire's SMP, there was a huge finale to the Zornoth story arc. They finally defeated him and made the Zornoth crystal. Uh, he's now trapped inside that crystal and of course the crystal went to Scott since it is technically his brother. Jim Nite, of course being a wizard on the server, was the one who did the final spell that trapped Zornoth in the crystal. It was definitely great to see all these empires come together and the one that actually was able to kill Joey to uh, make things a little bit easier was Catherine Elizabeth. This was definitely a great story arc and a great introduction to the Empire's SMP. I absolutely loved it and I really can't wait to see what else they do in this server. So of course since Jim Nite did the final spell we are checking her out first and the building she's done so far on the server. She's actually been planning a lot of different builds. She has a lot of layouts built but the first thing she decided to build was the tavern. This Amethyst Tavern is definitely a great addition to her empire, built entirely out of deep slate, cobblestone, uh, spruce, and bone blocks, and it definitely looks amazing. Her empire has definitely grown a lot, and she plans to do about one build an episode, so it's going to grow a lot faster once she starts doing all these builds in her future episodes. She also has a lot of plans of what she actually wants to do here, and she made a list of them right here, including a wand shop, school of magic, and an inn. This all fits great with the wizard theme. Next up, we are checking out Catherine Elizabeth, who actually landed the final blow on Joey with the House Blossom Sword, of course. Because a lot of lore has taken place in the last couple weeks, not as much building has been done, but as you can see, in this empire there is no more corruption, all the crystals have been changed into white beautiful crystals, and the tendrils are giant living stalks now. Her empire has definitely come a long way since the start of the server, she's working on a mega base, and she has a ton and ton of builds all around here with varying colors of purples and blues and it looks absolutely amazing. This is definitely one of the coolest looking empires on the server so far. Next up after the defeat of Zornoth Joey and LD Shadow Lady actually went head to head in a battle to collect heads, which means they both went on a murdering spree of animals and villagers across the server, which was pretty horrifying to watch but it was also really fun to watch as well. LD Shadow Lady of course finished first and so that means that Joey actually has to build a new tower in her empire. That'll definitely be a great build to watch. Next up, Mythical Sausage's Empire, one of the coolest looking ones on the server. It is absolutely huge and he has a ton of buildings in it. He does at least one building an episode, so he really has a lot going on over here. Of course, since Jim Nite freed him from the corruption, he has been making amends with everybody on the server, and the newest one is with Solidarity Gaming. He and Solidarity actually made a truce, and they're finally done with the Battle of the Walls, so they decided to actually make a bridge in between their two bases and open up their kingdoms to each other. They worked together on these builds and it looks absolutely amazing. Not only did they build the bridge and the doorways into each other's empires, but they also did a lot of work on the ravine to make it look beautiful. They added a ton of moss, a bunch of azalea trees, things like that to make this thing look incredible. Definitely some huge upgrades to this whole ravine and this is basically what Solidarity has done building wise since the last time we saw him a couple weeks ago. Mythical Sausage of course built some more buildings in his own empire and finally made an armory for his empire. I'm really impressed with how Mythical Sausage has been able to keep with the entire theme of his empire but design new style buildings every single time he's building one. These things are looking really amazing and of course the armory is a very important part of any empire. Next up, Pearl has been doing some brewing and one of the things she brewed was the Potion of Tranquility. The first person she gave it to was Mythical Sausage, of course, to try to keep him away from any of that corruption stuff ever again. But of course, in order to do this brewing, she needed a new building in her kingdom to actually make all the Potions of Tranquility to try to prevent any further corruption. So she built a new building over here in her empire and it definitely looks amazing. I love the use of acacia and copper together, definitely a very nice look. And then she also used other blocks uh, that really fit in very well together. I really love seeing all these new additions to the empires, definitely making this entire server look absolutely incredible. And I really can't wait for the next story arc that goes on in the server to see what else they have to deal with. 
This is the interior of the new building that she built. She added some moss, some nether wart, of course, and then a bunch of brewing stands. And then she also went ahead and removed all the tendrils that were sprouting out from the ground. She didn't work on the lava crystals yet that are floating around, but hopefully that'll be done in the future. And maybe even she just changes them up instead of getting rid of them completely. I really enjoy what Catherine Elizabeth did with hers, completely changing uh, the outside of them and making them fit in very well with her kingdom. Next up we are looking at Shovel who has also done some work on her crystals as well. She decided to actually fill these with glowstone instead of lava so that she didn't have to deal with anything coming out of them. This was of course before the defeat of Zornoth so she really doesn't have to worry about the lava exploding out of them now but it was definitely very good to take precautions beforehand so that her beautiful empire and mushrooms all didn't get burned down. Next up, Smallish Beans has been doing a ton of work on the Mazalia Empire. He of course went and gathered a ton of materials for a new project that he was working on to help him finish up the roof of his mega base. He decided to build an automatic concrete maker, so he just places the concrete powder and then a TNT duper goes ahead and blows up the concrete and puts it in these chests. This definitely makes the process a lot faster for him and he's able to finish up the big projects like the roof and his mega base a lot faster. Of course, if he's going to build something like this in his empire, he does have to cover it up to make it look a lot nicer, so he built up a whole factory for it, and luckily the walls were far enough away from the TNT that they weren't affected at all by it. He did a great job of using all the colors of his kingdom to really make this build fit in with the rest of it, and of course what kingdom would be complete without a factory, so it definitely fits in very nicely with the rest of his kingdom. I really like the little towers that he has on the sides, it really matches the mega base as well. Next up, Fwip has been doing a bunch of progress on his megabase as well. He gathered a ton and ton of materials, spent hours in his chest room, and then finally did a lot of work on getting the structure of this megabase built up. And unfortunately, he doesn't have a TNT automatic maker like Smallish Beans, so he has to do his in the river. But he decided to tower it up vertically so it all just fell down in the water, which I actually think is a great idea. I hadn't actually seen anybody do it that way before. Then he started working on his mega base, and he only did the front of this, which makes me think that he really wants to go and join Hermitcraft and the Bodum crew, since nobody is building the back of their base anymore. Nevertheless, an incredible build. I really like all the colors that he used in here, uh, the gradient from the stone uh, to the white blocks further up, and then the addition of the deep slate and black concrete to really give it some darker looks as well. Definitely a very cool looking build. I really can't wait to see the back of it as well. It really should look incredible as a finished product. This thing is definitely going to look amazing once he does all the terraforming up to it. I'm really excited for the finale of this project. It should look absolutely crazy crazy as a finished product. That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can check out all the rest of our Minecraft content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.